Keep that applause going for the next act of the stage. George Wheeler, everybody. How we doing, everyone? Everyone all right? Don't worry, I'm fully aware how shit my moustache is. Don't. <laughs> I know it's bad, isn't it? I know it's a bad look. A lot of Freddie Mercury survived AIDS. <laughs> and lost all his money in Bitcoin. Not funny? Okay, it's fine. It's a bit of a stigma around moustaches, isn't there? <laughs> pedos. People think we're pedos. <laughs> Not a fucking... Don't put the two young boys right up front as well. Don't make... <laughs> don't worry, boys. You're not my type. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait him, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, man. What do I want to talk about? I just got, I got, well, the problem is I go on stage, I claim to be a pedo, and I just can't stop thinking about it. It's bad, isn't it? It's bad, isn't it? I thought it would be a conversation starter. Turns out most conversations can start with now, sir, would you please leave the park? It's bad. <laughs> I don't like it. Because I, I was in a bakery the other day in my local area, right? And I know it's getting bad because there's a little kid in a buggy, right? So I just start making faces at it because it's a baby, isn't it? And then the mum turned the buggy around. <laughs> what really upset me, you know, because mainly because I hadn't finished. <laughs> Uh, I spend a lot of time alone. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was alone at a bus stop having a fag. Having it's the dream, isn't it? Just being alone at a bus stop, and I saw this little old lady walking towards me, and I saw in her face she wanted to talk to me because you know she hasn't spoken to anyone all day, so she wants to talk to me, and you know she's lonely because she's willing to talk to me. That's fucking <laughs> desperate, isn't it? Desperate. And I ain't going to talk to her because fuck her. I don't. <laughs> I don't. She's probably a fucking bigot. I'm not going to fucking... <laughs> I don't want to start a conversation, but she's looking at me. <laughs> but I can see she's sort of panicking now, so she, had to, she has to say something. So she went, penny for your faults? I know, it's gross, isn't it? Like, what? But I told her, I went, if there's a conjoined twin... <laughs> right? And one of them commits a crime... Do they both have to go to prison? How do they work that out? <laughs> do they have to saw him in half? What happens? And then she fucking walked away. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I followed her, you know, because... <laughs> well, she fucking owes me a penny. What am I meant to do? Like, what, what am I meant to do? Now I'm on a list. I can't get off this list. I can't go to see him, visit my nan. It was probably a good thing because she's also she she is a bigot. She is awful. We went to, we went to um, a restaurant in Brighton, right? And it's one of these restaurants where do you know, like pie mash? Oh, you're northern. You don't know pie mash. Is <laughs> 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 it the one fucking cockney in the back going? Ah! <laughs> but you know, do you know them like tables where everyone sits at the table? It's nice, isn't it? But I'm with my nan, and like, uh, as we're sitting there, a very good-looking, nice, friendly lesbian couple sat down. And I just start to panic because, you know, it's my nan. <laughs> and she does this thing, right, where it'll be very noisy in a restaurant and she just waits till it gets all quiet. No one's speaking. And then she says it. And she, do you know what she said? She went, do you know what, George? I don't mind the gays, but I don't like the lesbians. <laughs> well, it's not only bigoted, it doesn't make any sense. How can you... Oh, I need some more work. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, fuck my nan in it. Fuck her. Because <laughs> would someone actually fuck up? I think I might chill her out. Someone fucked her. <laughs> what? What? Just because she's old, she doesn't mean she doesn't need some dick. Fuck someone. You can fuck her, sir. I don't mind. You seem nice. I could call you granddad. I could sit on your lap. It'd be very nice. Okay, cool. I'll have to get your number after. Um, what else have I been thinking about? I've been thinking about Jesus a bit. No, I've, I don't like him. I think he's a prick. I don't like him. <laughs> he's a melt, isn't he? He's a melt. I don't like him. Because he was in heaven, he came down, and he fucked off back home again. Like, what's all that about? He's not one of them people who moved to London and couldn't hack it. <laughs> that kills in London. I forgot I weren't in London. <laughs> 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 I 
that's how fucking stupid I am. Oh, well, fuck Jesus. I, I don't like the guy. What really annoys me about Jesus, right, is it took him three days to be resurrected. Like, he was in a cave for three days just fucking about. All the disciples are waiting on him. What was he doing for them three days? I sort of thought about it. I was like, oh, Joel, he's got holes in his hands, isn't he? He's, li- he's a virgin with built-in flesh like. What do you think he's doing? Does everyone get it? He's doing that. <laughs> he's like, he was like that, and then he was doing that. Um, what else should I t- well, One last joke. Um, oh, this, is for, this, I might, this might not be funny, actually. But I'm in a new relationship now. Is anyone in a new relationship? You are? Get out now. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> it does. Because they start off good and they get shit. They do. Like, I, I'm in a new relationship, and uh, she wants me to meet her parents. What the fuck do you say to the parents? What do you say? Hello, sir, I'm fucking your daughter. Like, <laughs> occasionally, we mutually mass about the bed. You can't tell the truth. <laughs> Hello, sir, yes, your cum now makes me cum. You can't tell the truth. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs>